You're not like Logan at all. He'd be blushing like crazy right now. This is when Logan usually tells me to close my eyes. I don't do it, but still. guy. He looks miserable. Quick, touch that mirror and scare the crap out of him. Ah! What the hell? How did you... Why? So you can finish the job? You know what? Go right ahead. My life is over anyway. I don't even care anymore. Why should I believe anything you say? The damage is done. I can't sleep. The dragon haunts my dreams. It screams! And won't leave me alone. Not now. Not ever. There's no food for it to eat. It will only get hungrier and hungrier and never die. It's an agony and it'll only get worse. But I can't do anything. Not from in here. Set me free? Are you serious? You're serious, aren't you? You put me in here, and now you want to break me out? Possessed. I'm not sure I understand, but maybe I don't need to. Look, if you can get me out of here, Help me send the dragon back home, end these nightmares, then fine, do whatever you have to. The guard down the hall has a key to the cell. He's opened it a few times, but I couldn't tell you how to get it away from him. Leland, he's an asshole. Whatever you do to him, he'll have it coming, believe me. You mean, distract him? Sure, I can do that. I mean, I think I can. The guy doesn't need much of an excuse to be an asshole to me. I might as well give him one. My grandfather always said that the dragon was our family's blessing. It would help us through hard times if we needed it. We could call upon it once every decade or so. Any more than that, if we were greedy, it would become a curse. But we were never greedy. We did everything we were supposed to. The dragon never cursed us. No, we were cursed by you. <sighs> I saw you. You shot them like it was nothing. Then you looked right at me. Those eyes. They're the last thing I remember before everything went fuzzy. I honestly don't know what to believe. But your eyes, they aren't the same. So I'm going to trust you, for now. Yeah, cold, cruel, kind of distant. You looked at me like I was nothing. I've been trying to forget about it. Okay. Oh, hi. Look, kid, if it's too hot in there, maybe try sleeping without the blanket. No, that's not what I meant. I, I mean it's too cold. 
too cold. You know what, kid? I'm done. You can freeze or sweat or both. It's not my problem. Uh-huh. Yeah, I just got off shift. I'm just waiting for the rain to ease up a bit. Well, new shoes, you know? My car is parked ten blocks away. Ah, oh, gross! Oh, I am not getting blamed for this. That's it. Quick, unlock the door. That's it. You did it. So what now? Um, no, I can't disappear like you can. Look at what I'm wearing. I can't just walk out of here dressed like this. Can you get me some new clothes? Anything will work. Anything but this ugly orange prison uniform. I'm not going anywhere. Right. Perfect. Thanks. The hat will cover my face just fine, but I still need to do something about everything else. It's a bit small, but it should do fine. Thanks. I still need a proper pair of pants, though. Okay, those are kind of my size. That should work. Okay, I think that's everything I need. Could you, um, turn around for a sec? Okay, give me a minute. Okay, here I go. And, um, thanks. I guess. You too, Randy? Yeah. Took it right off the bench. I was only gone for a few minutes. They took it right out of my locker. Who the hell does that? You sure nothing of yours is missing, son? Not that I know of. Huh. Yeah, huh. the power is wearing off. Oh well, it's been fun. See ya when you die! Ah! Jesus, KK! Don't do that! Everything go okay in there? Yeah. She always does. Anyway, 
Mondano went with Kevin to the restaurant. We should meet him there. Right behind you. Good. You have returned. So, is the dragon gone? Um, not yet. I was hoping you could come with me. I don't want to face it alone. Thank you. In my dreams, the dragon is so... angry. In all my dad's stories, it was never angry. I'm... scared. Anyway, I'll meet you on the roof. No, that's only to summon it. To send it away, I just need to be near the tree. On the roof. Good thing, too. That tea is disgusting. Anyway, I'll meet you up there. Kevin? Something wrong? What happens... after? Do I go back to jail? Go on the run? That will not happen. We will put a veil on you. It disguises your identity. You will be safe. Oh, that's good, I guess. Kevin? Yeah. Sorry, I was just remembering. My mom was always making me study cookbooks, making me memorize old family recipes, and my dad would drill me in the kitchen. You always hate that stuff as a kid, but right now, I miss it more than anything. Kevin Wong, you have come at last. Yeah, well, I've barely slept for months thanks to you. And I have not eaten. I wish to go home. Yeah. Oh. I am waiting, Kevin Huang. Fulfill your family duty. Not yet. I want something. Another winning lottery number. Dude, come on. You overstep yourself, Kevin Huang. And none of the usual five-figure stuff either. I'm talking the Mega Million Jackpot. Maybe. Maybe not. Maybe I don't care. We possess your original lottery ticket, Kevin. Your winning lottery ticket. It's not enough. It's not nearly enough. $50,000 is plenty. Yeah, man. That's more than enough to start a new life. I don't want a new life. This restaurant belongs to my family. It should stay in my family. The bank repossessed this place. I need to buy it back before someone else does. 50000 won't cut it. Do this for me, dragon. Do this, and I will burn the banana tree. Nobody will ever summon you again. Please, you must. The effort involved. The mental strain. It might kill me. It might, but might not. Please, Kevin Huang, let me go! Oh, I'm sorry. Am I hearing ethical advice from the person who murdered my family? You're the one who took it all away. You can help me get it back. You owe this to me. Because it's been in my family for four generations. It stood for almost a century. I'm not gonna let that end. Not while I can still do something about it. So how about it, Dragon? Give me a winning set of numbers and I'll send you home. Forever. And how are you going to do that? It's not like you can stop me. Only I have the power to send the Dragon back. Wait, what? You just let the cops throw me back in jail? You can't! That's not right! I didn't do anything! Not yet you haven't. 
please, please. Some corporate chain is going to buy this place. They'll destroy it. Turn it into a plastic boutique or a condo. My family would have died for nothing. You can't let that happen. Please, don't do this. I have centuries of artifacts of my father's life at home. I would fight tooth and nail to keep them safe. Can I fault Kevin for doing the same? I know his pain all too well. It is an ethical dilemma for certain. Regardless, I will support whatever choice you make. I think the Huang family's been relying on this magic dragon for long enough. Whichever way this goes, that needs to end. Okay. Okay. Kevin Huang? I am still waiting. You can go. I release you. Thank you. I'm sorry. I had to try. You understand? For mom and dad. I understand. I recently lost a father too. But this is not the way. Yeah, you're right. I get that. I always did like this view. I thought I'd be looking at it forever. Okay, I'm ready. Level 40? Maybe 50? I... beg your pardon? KK's wondering what level you'd be if you were in Trollgate. I... see... Hey, KK couldn't stop talking about your little jailbreak last night. Especially the part where you were sneaking around the men's locker room. Hey, I ain't judging. You did what had to be done. Listen, I can't begin to relate, but I do know what it's like to have feelings you want to drown away. So my advice? Focus on the job ahead. That's enough to get you through today. And worry about tomorrow, tomorrow. And I'm here, if you ever want to talk. Right. And KK too. Sorry. Sure. Kevin made his choice, and so did you. He'll be fine. $50,000 buys a lot of fine. Sure, we'll chat later. Uh, hello. I was just processing the events of last night. The veil placed on Kevin should hold for at least 10 years. By then, the police will have long since given up searching for him. I am not without sympathy for Kevin's plight, having recently lost a parent myself. But torturing and potentially murdering that innocent creature was a step too far. It was the right choice to refuse him. Thank you. Oh. Hi. Sorry, I was a bit distracted. Thanks, by the way, for bringing Mandana out to Chinatown. I think the distraction did her good. I can't imagine what that must be like. I'm sorry, but I do know that demons don't act like you do. They're chaotic, mindless. Were you a demon before? Sure, maybe. But you're not a demon now, and that's what matters. That's all that matters. You know, my kids were around Kevin's age when I left them. They turned out okay. But they at least had each other. Poor Kevin has nobody. Either way, he seems like a smart young man. I'm sure he'll figure it out. Right. See you around. Dragons exist. 
one day I might have to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with a freaking dragon? Look, I get it. Things are crazy and you don't know which end is up. You want to have a meltdown and drink yourself stupid. And when this is done, feel free to do that. I'll even join you. Hell, I'll buy the first round. But right now we need you focused. I need you focused. Okay? Okay. I kind of get where Kevin was coming from. Heck, cop family going back a century here. It's who we are. And being the broken link in that chain? It hurts. Hurts like hell. It's like a hundred years of Santina's accursing me. So Kevin is angry and bitter. He might not get over it anytime soon, but he'll be okay. Eventually. Right. Catch you later, partner. Uh, hello. I was just... processing the events of last night. The veil placed on Kevin should hold for at least ten years. By then, the police will have long since given up searching for him. A meeting is not necessary. We know our mission. We know our destination. When you are ready to proceed to the subway, we will follow. Thank you. Not for nothing, but I think you're gonna need some backup on this one. Yeah, I agree. And so does KK. Well, here's our stop. Let's get moving. We were successful. The portal is unlocked. We can go open it whenever we wish. So, what's on the other side of that thing? It is impossible to say. It could be anything. It could be nothing. Pocket realms can completely ignore the laws of nature, or invent new ones entirely. So, be prepared for anything. Okay, real truth? No, I'm not ready. I'm about to step through a portal into another world. I could never be ready for that. But, I'm a Santina. I finish what I start. So let's finish this. Yeah, I was thinking, not a single person in the program would judge me if I picked up a drink right now. But that's not true, is it? That's just the addiction. Making excuses and twisting the truth. So all I can do is focus on what's in front of me. Which means going through that glowing hole and stopping whatever's on the other side. That's enough for now. It'll have to be. Oh, I always have words. I was just thinking, wasn't that long ago I was throwing lightning at you on a rooftop? A lot has changed since then. You've made some tough decisions. Decisions I'm not sure I'd have been able to make. I guess all I have to say is, whatever happens in there, I've got your back. And I know you've got mine. I have lived a long time, but... I would hardly call myself a sage. If anything, I know how easy it is to reinvent yourself. Rediscover who you are, over and over. You have done much the same in your time with us. My only hope is that you do not change further. Regardless, know that I am with you, for as long as I can still stand. She says she's getting bored with all this talking. Sorry, KK. We'll get going in a minute. Yes, it is time. Eli, shall we open it together? All right. On three. One, two, three. Um... Did something go wrong? I think so. Yeah, we definitely went through. I, I felt it. So did I. Something is different. Um, holy shit.
We're... we're not in New York anymore, are we? No. We made it into the pocket realm. It is a... twisted version of our city. That building! Look at the energy pouring out of it. That must be where our quarry lies. Um, are you alright? Okay, she's back. Everyone relax. You blacked out for a minute. You started chanting. What happened? A spell? What kind of spell? It sounded like a spell of summoning. Whatever it is, maybe turn the other way the next time you cast it. <laughs> 